So really quick before we get into today's video here on uh, how to do what I recommend doing with the male earthling. Uh, a couple things I want to get out of the way are A, yes I use tools. Uh, B, I don't PvP period unless it's Hero Coliseum with other modders. And uh, C, uh, yes of course I use the tool to get a perfect QQ bang. And I just want to throw that out there because um, I uh, may or may not receive comments here and there saying that, oh, this guy cheated to get this, or this guy cheated to get that. And uh, as you can see by default, yes, I have Super Saiyan 3 hair on my uh, male Earthling here. If you see my videos, you know why that is. It's because of a cheat engine table. You cannot see my character in Kantan if they're like that. However, in Quest, you will be able to see it. And it's just different from the other other, other uh, hairstyles, and I honestly just like the look of it. I think it looks awesome. That's why I do it. It's purely cosmetic. It's not going to give me any additional buffs or anything. I don't PvP at all. I've seriously quit since the big change. And speaking of the big change, that is why I'm making this video. To show how I play most of my strike characters. And I want to show off a couple of combos that some people may not be aware of. Uh, and by that, I mean... When I see players do a knockaway, for example, and then they use stamina to get behind the opponent, and um, this will help you to optimize your damage output and also not waste stamina at all, or at least use as little stamina as possible. And I'm going to show off how to do that, and uh, with all those disclaimers and uh, things out of the way, so. My character, my character, my male Earthling, he's the shortest height, he is the, the max buff, I min-max on all my characters, they each have 125 into 3 stats each, on his I put them all into health, I put them all into strike, and I put them all into basic as well. And the Super Soul that I recommend that recently came out with Ultra Pack 1 is I got my claws in you in Fangs 2, honestly it is a very very strong Super Soul. It stacks twice, and one stack gives you a medium boost. So it's medium plus medium. And uh, it gives you that to your speed, and to either your basic or your strike. I would have to go back out and check. I could do that after we're done here. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into how I play my male Earthling. And this is the set that I would mainly run on him. Shining Slash, Deadly Dance, Gigantic Omega, Ultimate Charge, Brave Sword Attack, Instant Severance, Spirit Explosion. Since since the change, Spirit Explosion only requires two stamina bars, which is very, very valuable. It was already a great evasive, they made it even better. And of course, for transformation, I have Potential Unleashed. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and show off how I put my male Earthling here. Hear me. You go near my father. You go and let's go to the Nameless Planet. And uh, I actually did not know about this first thing that I'm about to show you uh, right away. This is something I learned from watching a YouTube YouTuber on, uh, I think his name was SSJ Apom, and he did a video each covering every single race and gender. If you want to check those out, I would definitely recommend searching him up. Uh, I've actually learned a couple of very helpful things from watching some of his videos, and um, there was even a combo that I wasn't aware of that I could demonstrate right now. I wouldn't recommend using it. I find it more intru intrusive than helpful, but it is one that you can do. It's an endless loop with a guard cancel. So heavy, basic, when you do the uh, boost, boost around there, you're supposed to guard at the right time and then continue it from there. And I screwed it up there, so check. I might be doing it wrong. Okay, so let's try that one more time. But the timing is very, very strict. I thought I had it there. No. Nope. There we go. Like, it took me a few tries to get that there, and that is why I don't recommend doing it. I find it to be more intrusive than helpful, personally. Because this one is so much better, in my opinion, anyway. You do one basic, and then you do one to four heavies afterwards, 
and then you step forward and you can actually loop that. I'll just show that off as an example here. Now, if you want to want my recommendation on how many uh, basics to do before the heavy, and uh, let me just correct myself really quick as to avoid cause of confusion, it's four, it's one to four basics, and then a heavy. That was my mistake. I apologize. You do one to four basics, a heavy, step four. And I recommend three basics and then going into a heavy. Because it just feels more consistent that way. It gives you a lot better control. Like, say, for example, he's going to vanish behind me. I can easily pick that up by just doing three. By trying to get to just do three each time, it's very, very easy. You can not only optimize your damage while you're wailing on him. But in case he vanishes, you got a good number, you still have room to keep going. So, I'm going to put him on uh, Super Strong AI, and I'm going to show you what I recommend doing to proc the Super Soul on the male Earthling. Okay, so Super Strong, and so the easiest way to do this is going to be with uh, Critical Upper. You don't need it on the male Earthling, though, and I'll show you why you don't need it. It's because the male Earthling already has two very easy ways of proccing it. You can do a knockback by hitting Heavy Attack and Key Blast at the same time, with any race and gender, by the way, which sets up not only Shining Slash, it also sets up Focus Flash, but we'll get that into another video once I start doing the Blaster characters. And yes, I will be going over each race and gender, uh in separate videos, and for this one we're just focusing on the male Earthling. So he's going to be in super strong, and I'll show you why I recommend uh, having having these skills with this particular setup. And we're just going to try to focus on breaking him. When you see that he's under two stamina bars like that, Breaking like I just did there. Shining Slash. I've already blocked the full effect of the Super Soul, so I'm good now at this point. That is what I recommend doing to get that proc very easily on the male Earthling. You don't need Critical Upper, it just makes it very, very easy. Uh, how it works with Critical Upper is if you, um, you do Critical Upper, and as soon as the um, camera snaps back behind your character after doing so, you can immediately follow it up with a heavy attack, and then you can proc uh, one stage of it that way. Use another critical upper right away if you have two key bars, and then land another heavy. Uh, and I uh, uh, just want to get another one other thing out of the way. This I actually learned from my buddy, um, Mr. Monocle here. And you've seen him in quite a few of my videos, actually. And he's on my featured uh, YouTube channels as well. He, I think he's a very talented artist. Very great friend, and uh, hilarious if I'm being honest. Love the guy. Uh, but anyway, this is how you do the combo that I learned from him. Like, I just learned this by watching him. Heavy, basic, heavy, basic. And then you can do a break after the fourth one. You can also end the combo by going heavy, basic, heavy, basic, heavy. And do a knockback there. And, um, so, I have Deadly Dance on, and the reason I have Deadly Dance on is because you can do a lot of things with it. So it gives you a lot of invincibility frames, it knocks away key blasts, but it also does one really kick-ass thing that you're about to see here. I'm going into my basic string right after that. I'm doing another one. Going into another basic string. And another. Uh, definitely that's not another string. Just very, very good, honestly. And then here's another thing that you can do with uh, with Deadly Dance as well. After the final hit, you can run away if you feel that it's not very safe to stick around. Like, say you have two AI and they're both trying to ult you, and you have the opportunity to get out of there and not waste an evasive, you can do that as well. Get out of there. And pretty much evade both, both of the other AI's ultimates, so... Uh, it's a very, very versatile scale, in my opinion. And then for consistent damage, when I want to really rack it up, I'll do a knockback, 
and I'll go into either a Shining Slash right away, or I'll go into a Gigantic Omega, or you can even go into a Gigantic Omega right after a Shining Slash. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that really quick. I'm going to do the Knockback, Shining Slash, Heavy, just cuz, Knockback, Shining Slash, Heavy. You don't even have to do the Heavy, you can just do a Knockback, Shining Slash, Knockback, Shining Slash, Knockback, you get the idea. And that does a lot of damage. Shining Slash, it became so much better. They increased the damage on it. They decreased the amount of time it takes to uh, cast it. And uh, they just made it a lot better. Uh, you can't chain two together in a row like you used to be able to, but uh, that's for good reasons, I think. They already need to move so much better, so it's not going to hurt it too much. Uh, so I'll try to, to demonstrate that if I can, if it even works. Okay, apparently you still kind of can. It's just a little bit slower. Uh, before, you were able to do that again right away, essentially, and it racked up damage very, very quickly. Uh, but, uh, let's go ahead and transform. Just, you can see the damage on, uh, on the, the Gigantic Omega spam. So, knockback, Gigantic Omega, rush at him, basic, knockback. Repeat. Gigantic Omega, rush towards him, basic, knockback. Gigantic Omega, rush at him, knockback. Gigantic Omega, you get the idea. Look how much damage that's already doing in just a few seconds. It's already gotten 20,000 damage, and that was just for wasting a few key bars. Now, I'm not saying this is the best way to deal damage, period, in the game. If anyone has any other suggestions or ideas with other skills, feel free to leave them in the comments. If, uh, if this is your kind of thing, and uh, we'll go from there. I wouldn't mind getting into a convo about that, and uh, one person I know who could probably give some very good input on that is my buddy Ryuko. You already know him as uh, qb 4 Square on my channel. Uh, I'm sorry, on one of my featured channels, and um, you've seen him in probably several of my videos if you've been around and a fan for as long as you have, and uh, yeah, I would recommend checking him out too. He's got really, really great content. The guy's amazing at the game in my opinion. It is ridiculous how good he is. I learned quite a few things from him as well, honestly. So I'd recommend checking him out as well. And uh, that is pretty much going to do it for the video. That is how I play my male Earthling. Now, I just have inst instant um, severance on this set just to go with Brave Sword Attack. I like the slicey moves. Uh, what I would really recommend for my usual setup, though, and I apologize, I picked the wrong preset here, is uh, this one. Brave Sword Attack and uh, Death Meteor. I'm going to go to the right one. There we go. Okay. Hear me. You go near my father. And the reason I recommend Death Meteor is because it is any striker's most reliable um, ranged ultimate in the game. And that's just a matter of fact. I think it's their only, like, really seriously good ranged ultimate. Uh, Paralysis is debatable, but... Uh, if you want to count Dragon Fist as a range for how far it goes, then I don't know, go ahead, but I wouldn't personally. And, uh, I just put a uh, Brave Sword Attack on because I think it looks awesome. And when you do a Stamina Break, it's very easy to land into. I'll just show that off as an example real quick. Let me, let me build up my Super Soul first, though. Okay, I don't think the second one went off. There we go, now I'm dead. Okay. As they're getting up, Shiny Slash. Bam. Easy 14k. And uh, that is pretty much going to do it for the video. If you guys enjoyed it, feel free to stick around and see more later on. If not, that's cool. I thank you for stopping by anyway. And uh, as usual, I'm not going to ask anybody to either like or sub, because honestly, I feel the video should speak for itself. But uh, if you enjoyed it, awesome. If not, I welcome any constructive criticism and feedback. This is just something I do for fun on the side. I'm not looking to go anywhere. And, uh, yes, just thank you for stopping by once, once more, and, uh, have a, uh, good rest of your day. Bye-bye.